Investigators with the state fire marshal's office are collecting evidence and trying to find out what sparked a blaze that leveled part of the Washington furniture plant in Pontotoc. Initially, the fire was contained to the plant's warehouse, but it did spread throughout the production line and administrative offices. Investigators have, have not ruled out anything and should have a preliminary report in the coming days. Although the production lines were destroyed, employees at Washington Furniture will not miss a paycheck. Our Ally Martin tells us how the company plans to take care of its employees and also have furniture rolling out in a few weeks. As smoldering debris was being sorted and cleared, Washington Furniture executives were making sure employees knew they would not miss a paycheck. That's because plans are to open production lines in another building on site. Our goal is October 19th. Um, I know that we have a lot going on between now and then, but um, the way that the, the contractors in our community have stepped up, um, we feel like we can execute October 19th as our um, backup and running day. Six production lines are scheduled to go in this building. That will happen as crews clean up from the massive fire that leveled the main building and destroyed millions of dollars in inventory. We're going to pull out of this and that we're all going to support each other and, and be successful. Long range plans call for Washington Furniture to rebuild on this site. Company officials say they have no plans to abandon the community that has stood with the furniture plant for decades. It's been a, a total community effort um, with the fire department, the police department, our local businesses, um, they've supported us 100% with the community and with our employees and everything that we have going on. We're going to rebuild and we're going to be stronger and better than ever. Washington Furniture employs more than 400 people at its Pontotoc location. Allie Martin, WCBI News. And earlier this year, Washington Furniture was bought by Behold Home of Smithville.